The final envi environmental review of draft of Enbridge Energy Oil Pipeline is now available to the public. The multi-thousand page document details the effects that a new Line 3 pipeline could have uh, the many potential routes. As Mel Meyer reports from Bemidji, a group of indigenous teens are paddling to protect waters that could be affected by the project. The young canoers set off on Saturday from a site where Enbridge's preferred route would first intersect the headwaters of the Mississippi. They're stopping at Bemidji's Diamond Point Park and other sites along the way to raise awareness about the possible dangers that the pipeline could pose to our water systems. I don't know if too many people know that this would be going directly through their backyards, directly um, influencing the Mississippi River. But they're not just protesting. Keep it in the soil. These young people are part of the youth climate interveners that became a party in the legal process. They argued that they'll be the ones needing to solve the possible negative consequences like oil spills as a result of the proposed pipeline. Our grandkids, we're going to pass this down to them. We're going to keep telling them to, to protect the water like our, like our ancestors have done for us. 16-year-old Nolan Berglund is one of the interveners and sees a lot of differences between the Line 3 process and what led to the Standing Rock protests. I thought it would be a cool way to learn how to fight Enbridge in a different way that we haven't before. Because they're an intervening party, they'll be directly involved at each step and have the chance to directly cross-examine witnesses such as Enbridge. It brings a great opportunity to have a huge role and a, a huge say in the outcome of what the Public Utilities Commission ultimately decides. While they haven't had a chance to look over the final draft, they're hoping that it will answer some of their questions involving the tribes and the environment. The line breaks like what will be affected and how will uh, the indigenous communities be able to come back from that. The public will be able to make their last comments on the final draft before it heads to an administrative law judge. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. A final decision whether or not to approve the necessary permits for the Line 3 replacement project is expected to be handed down sometime next spring. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.